Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Hey there, I'm Dave Graveline. Welcome back to another ITTV update. We're delighted to connect with you. We recently recorded an Into Tomorrow broadcast in New York City at the CES Unveiled Press Preview event. We showed you lots of cool tech products, some available now and others coming your way very soon. In case you missed our 11 11 11 broadcast, you can listen, watch, view pictures and videos all at intotomorrow.com. If you're watching on YouTube right now, we've set up a playlist for easy viewing. Just click on this annotation. The holidays are upon us and we're all working on our wish lists for Santa requesting many consumer electronics products, of course. In fact, the Consumer Electronics Association estimates 76% of consumers plan to spend on CE gifts. Of course, some e-tailers have really gone overboard with ads for Black Friday, which by the way is the day after Thanksgiving, hello, uh, starting their ads back in March. But in spite of those that want to take advantage of you really early, we've compiled a few of our favorite tech gift ideas for you to consider. And Rob joins us next to share those with you. Rob? Thanks, Dave. You're right. We are approaching the holidays, although you wouldn't really know it after being teased extra early this year by so many companies. And with consumer electronics being among popular gifts, we're excited to share some of our favorite product categories with you. Laptops and tablets continue to be among the most popular products on many wish lists year-round, but especially this holiday season. Be it a Mac or PC, an iPad or Android tablet, we want them. It's become a little harder to choose between a laptop and a tablet these days. While tablets are still limited when compared to laptops, there are many ways you can make your tablet work a lot like one. And laptops are now getting thinner, competing with the size of tablets. Some of our favorites in this category include the Samsung Series 9 NP900X3A, the 13-inch model, the Apple MacBook Air, 13-inch, Amazon Kindle Fire, and the Apple iPad 2. TVs are always popular too. Sizes and choices have gotten a bit out of hand, but the price is very competitive and Black Friday sales have some really good deals. One of them getting buzz on the internet is Best Buy, who's offering a 42-inch Sharp 1080p HD TV for only 200 bucks. You may have heard me say before, I am not a fan of 3D TVs, but several stores have been offering affordable prices. In fact, you can probably get open box sets at a really discounted price. While most of us with smartphones used them as our digital camera, there are many people who still want to carry a good camera. One of our favorites is the Olympus Pen Mini, which we featured recently on ITTV. It's a compact digital SLR with lots of fun features at only $500. We also like the Samsung MV800 Multiview compact digital camera. It's got a three inch movable display, which makes self portraits fun to shoot. We're fond of telling our radio listeners that we're not matchmakers when they ask about what cell phone they should buy. However, we get to play with a lot of them and like to share some of our most favorite. We mostly carry Android and iPhone devices here at Into Tomorrow, so here are some notable picks for you to consider. Smartphones, of course. The Apple iPhone 4S, available on AT&T, Sprint, or Verizon. The Motorola Droid Razor, only on Verizon and the Samsung Galaxy S2, available across different cell phone networks. Some of you may not be fans of gift cards, but for the busy person, they're perfect. And the Consumer Electronics Association says yes. 80% of consumers plan to give a gift card this holiday season, and a lot of them are being used to buy consumer electronics. I'm a huge gift card giver, be it iTunes, Target, and Visa or Amex cards, which can be used anywhere. Just be sure to use them for some cool gadgets. These are only a few of our favorite gift ideas for 2011. We will be sharing lots more on our national radio broadcasts over the next few weeks. And of course, we'll have product links for you at our website, intotomorrow.com. 
So what are you buying this year? What do you want this year? We've left plenty of room for you to add your ideas for our audience. Leave us your suggestions in the comment section below. We're looking forward to reading and sharing your comments. Hey Dave, what do you want this holiday season? Hmm, that's a good question. Definitely more electronics. I got a droid razor, so I guess I'll have to see what else I really want. Rob mentioned the Olympus Pen Mini as one of our favorite digital cameras, so I want to remind you two lucky winners will get one from us just by participating on our national radio show. Ask anything at all about consumer electronics, offer your opinions, or help another listener anytime, 24-7, but you gotta hurry though. 1-800-899-4686. That's 800-899-INTO. Or even better, use our free Into Tomorrow apps. Android, iOS, Intel App Op Center, either way, it's radio, and we want to hear you. Don't miss your chance, since we're giving away two of these very cool $500 pen cameras. Good luck. Do you have a small business with IT needs? Visit NewEggBusiness.com for their everyday solutions and deals on business electronics and office must-haves. Feel free to share your experience with us, too. IT is simple at NewEggBusiness.com, where once you know, you knew it. It's now time to travel back in tech history with our tech historian, Chris Graveline. And this week in tech history, he's got some memorable animated characters for us. Chris? This week in 1866, the rotary crank bicycle was patented in Paris, France. The bike, incidentally, was known as the Bone Shaker. In 1931 this week, the first commercial teletype service was introduced by the American Telephone and Telegraph Company the company that would later become AT&T. This week in 1995, Toy Story was released as the first feature-length film created entirely using computer-generated imagery. And this week in 1998, America Online, the largest internet access service at the time, announced plans to acquire Netscape Communications in a deal valued at $4.2 billion. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thank you, Chris. The holidays are about giving, so we have another giveaway just for you. This one is for our YouTube viewers. We recently celebrated five years of ITTV on YouTube. As a reward, we're giving our subscribers a chance to win a Lassie La Plug. You can share your USB hard drives and printers over Wi-Fi and access them even when you're away from home or your office, among many other things. Everyone that subscribes to our YouTube channel between now and the end of the year is eligible. Sub and win with ITTV. That wraps it up for this week's Into Tomorrow ITTV show. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving holiday and a good time shopping for electronics. Don't forget yourself. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Graveline.